Hey friends, uh, on the first video, Gina requested ravioli and a steak salad. So uh, check out the ravioli she's eating by just clicking the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And uh, now that we've our appetizer ravioli, we're gonna work on the uh, steak salad. So here we go. Okay, so after two minutes, it looks like this. We're gonna stick it in the oven. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Let's check and see how this is doing. Now we're gonna flip it, and we're gonna let this crisp up under the broiler. Now I like to do it under the broiler like that um, because it just keeps the overall smoke down. So we'll let this go for another minute and then we'll check it out. Okay, so we can get ready to take this out now. And there you go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our towel over the handle because that means uh, the handle is very hot and don't grab it. Uh, make sure that you grab a clean plate, not the one that you seasoned it on. Here's side A and side B. And we are just going to let this rest for probably two minutes before we do anything with it. Style points if you use a chipped plate. Now, you may be looking at this pan and thinking, hmm... This would be a good chance to deglaze this and make a sauce. Well, you're accurate. Uh, for this particular recipe, since we're making a steak salad out of a brand new steak, uh, I'm not. Um, but what you would do in this particular instance is uh, take a paper towel and sop up all of that, because uh, that's not great. Um, and then you would put uh, some olive oil in there, and then uh, you can deglaze that. So you don't really need that for this particular instance as much as I do hate to see a good fawn go to waste. We'll uh, just let this cool down and clean it off. Okay, so the steak has rested for about five minutes. Let's uh, cut this thing up and serve it. So rib steak, my favorite part of this is this outer portion right here called the spinalis. That's the, that's the best part of the steak. So um, if you're eating this steak just as is, you know, obviously you'll enjoy that. But since we're going to use this for a salad, um, we're just going to cut it up and, uh, and let it go. So we're going to cut perpendicular to the grain. If I was smart, I would put something under this cutting board to prevent it from moving, but I'm not. So I'm just going to suffer. Okay, now if you wanna make this steak go from a $30 steak to a $75 steak, you can just put this on a very fancy cutting board and flay it out sort of just like this. Just like that. Now, I cut this on a separate board because I want to save all of these meat juices here. Because for the steak salad that we're about to make, I want to save those for that. Because you cannot throw away accumulated meat juices. Um, so, So to plate this up, we're just going to take some good olive oil and just give it a 
couple of glugs just like that. Get some salt bay action just a little bit because the steak is already seasoned on the outside, but just because the interior of the steak is not seasoned, just a little bit of salt and then some pepper. All right, there you go. Let's see if Gina likes it. Thank you. Am I gonna eat this with my hands? Well, yeah. Okay. It's a uh, primal. All right. Just a good bite. It's good? It's, it's very good. It's very good. Yeah. Tastes like steak? Tastes like steak. And we've done our job. All right. I guess uh, on the next episode, we're going to make a steak salad out of this. So check that out. It's really good, actually. <laughs>